Hello and welcome back to my drone video uh, channel. This is uh, going to be a nine and a half minute video, sh basically a, a Lake Erie shore ice study using the uh, DJI Spark. Um, came down here to the shore of the lake uh, to uh, do some inspecting of the uh, nearby uh, ice that's that's uh, along the shore. The mound that you see in front of in front of you that looks brownish, that's some of the sand that's been washed up over the top of the uh, ice that's built up there. It's the ice right as we're flying over this mound here is probably uh, you know six to eight feet thick right there. But let's get over on the other side here. Now we're going to be seeing a lot of uh, broken up slabs and uh, jagged pieces of ice. Now the way this works is that you know you can see out in the distance that there's a open area of, of water but beyond that and you'll see it later in the video there's ice beyond that. So um, depending on how the, the way the wind is blowing whether it's blowing from the south or the north this, the ice on the lake gets blown you know, either to to the north towards Canada, or back to the south towards, you know, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and you know, all the the places that are on the edge of uh, of the uh, you know the, the south side of the lake. Here we're looking uh, to the east here, and we're going past some you know nice large chunks. But what happens is is it moves back and forth. You know, it fractures the ice, and then you know it it generally. Uh, we can't see it so much here, but a little bit later in the season, uh, it, it'll form like, like you see over here, piles of ice where it's been, you know, pushed up on top of one another, and it makes a, a big mound of ice. And then, you know, perhaps in uh, a certain amount of time, uh, you'll see the same formation of what they call a pressure ridge of ice uh, form, you know, about a quarter mile out, and then. Another one will, file, will form a quarter mile off from that and so on and it just uh, repeats uh, continuously. Now we're, we're heading in an uh, uh, easterly uh, direction here and we're going to be going past the mouth of the uh, Wheeler Creek. Uh, it's a creek which drains uh, and has its mouth right here on, on uh, Lake Erie. Um, the water is running in really Wheeler Creek because you can see you know, the sunny skies. Uh, probably five miles south of where I'm at here, over this this icy lake, the water or the t the temperature was probably 40, 45 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, which would be, you know, five to eight degrees centigrade. Um, and so there was some warming up going on. Of course, that melts water. Water goes into the stream. Stream flows out into the lake. So. We're just kind of, uh, you know, get, getting a, a general view here of the various uh, cracks and, and uh, slabs and jagged pieces of, of ice as we uh, fly over the, the uh, lake here. Uh, some of these slabs are probably safe to stand on. However, once you get close to uh, areas like this where you have a lot of darkened uh, ice, it's... Uh, probably not to not very safe to uh, to walk around on that so now we're we're facing back in uh, a westerly direction and I'm going to drop it down to within about you know three feet of off the uh, top of the ice so you get a, a better look at the you know the chunks Some, these chunks you know they look small but some of them they're they're greater than uh, a foot in diameter and again you can see the you know the, the fracturing and um, you know how big some of these slabs uh, of ice are and of course you know ice is 32 degrees and so the air temperature all around where I was at is uh, is the same um, there were there's been times back uh, w when I was young when I would walk out on on uh, this ice but uh, I'm uh, a lot less adventurous these days and uh, it's nice to be able to have a, a UAV to uh, send out and do all your exploring for you while you stay safely <laughs> on solid ground. We're coming up here, here to the uh, one of those uh, pressure ridges, and I actually have to gain altitude in order to get up 
and over it and uh, we're going to go towards the uh, beach area of uh, this part of where I'm, where I'm at here which is comprised mostly of these small uh, rocks, round rocks. Of course they're all rounded from you know years and hundreds of years of uh, you know, water washing up around and over them but uh, you know they get that rounded look and then there's a lot of driftwood and stuff uh, out here and we're gonna fly along the top over the top of the uh, so-called beach although uh, I wouldn't exactly call it a, a beach area because walking on those uh, those little rounded rocks would not be very very pleasant on your feet but uh, this here is uh, Wheeler Creek that we're, we're coming up on and uh, you can see that it's you can clearly see that it's moving you can see the water moving out towards the lake uh, there's you know dead wood uh, in the in inside of the of the stream and on either side of the uh, of uh, Wheeler Creek you can see ice forming so it's like right at that point whether it doesn't know whether to, to uh, flow or to freeze and um, you know we're, we're supposed to be getting some uh, really brutally cold weather here in the next uh, few days with more snow and all that stuff so I imagine that uh, this this area here will will freeze up again and and it'll be at a stop or, or at least the water will might be uh, running underneath uh, the uh, top layer of ice so we're uh, gonna traverse back again to, uh, along the the shoreline this area here would be perfectly safe to walk on um, you can see that there's you know a lot of uh, um, bottom sand mixed in with the uh, ice thrown up on top over here um, probably just right here you're right at the at the water's edge so there would be uh, no problem with uh, walking along uh, in, in this direction or on th this particular surface um, it's always uh, kind of eerie when you come down uh, to a frozen lake because there's virtually no noise there's no noise of the lapping of the waves or anything like that you see a little cement pier here that runs straight out and that's generally where during the summertime people run out uh, to the end of the pier and jump into the lake so at this point I decided I'd, I'd go from like five feet up to about 65 feet approximately oh, maybe like 20 uh, meters or so 22 meters uh, altitude just to get a little better look at the uh, open uh, lake now once you look way into the distance on the horizon you'll see white again and so this is more or less shows the uh, an opening in the ice with some little uh, ice islands there we're turning here to back to the west and you see a patch of blue ice uh, right uh, uh, next to uh, some white ice and that blue ice is to be avoided at all costs you never walk on blue ice and we're going to do swing back here to the east and you'll see the same thing see that big patch of uh, uh, blue ice there that it's that borders the uh, the white ice that is definitely not uh, safe to walk on um, and a lot of people learn that the hard way uh, if you go into water this cold your chances of uh, getting out of it are not too uh, good at all I think it's like 10 uh, 10 minutes before you, uh, you you'll start uh, succumbing to uh, hypothermia but um, anyways it was just a, a fun little shoot here I'm glad uh, to finally have been, been able to get out and uh, get some uh, some uh, video to uh, post up on my page thanks for stopping by and watching it I hope you enjoyed uh, a quick look at the uh, Lake Erie ice uh, leave a comment if you feel like it thumbs up perhaps and stop back again